Hi there, Randy, K7AGE. What you're listening to is the new Super Fox, Super Fox Hound Mode in WSJT-X. You need that version uh, 2.7.0, release candidate 5, to make this work. So in the previous Fox Hound Mode, the Fox would transmit below 1,000 hertz and could have up to five simultaneous transmissions. All the hounds, the people chasing them, had to transmit up above uh, 1,000 hertz. And one of the um, side effects of the Fox transmitting multiple signals is that it, it distributed power across each one of those signals. And I've actually seen it go from two to three to four uh, streams coming out of the Fox and the received signal uh, strength reduces. So this new system, the, um, the Fox transmits one wideband signal, it's about 1500 cycles wide based on center frequency of 1500 on your waterfall and he can send information up to nine uh, stations. So let's take another look here, look at the um, everything that's going on here. So you can see the, um, yeah, you can see the uh, fox here transmitting this wide bandwidth signal. You can hear it, see it on my 7610 um, waterfall. And that time I only got a single decode. So this is, we're listening to here, stations working the K8R, and that's in American uh, Samoa, out in the Pacific. So you can see here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six stations calling them at, at the moment. And he's responded, 73 to JA7QXR and VE7RC. Then signal reports to, to YU3, um, IK4, another JK1, and SP6. And he sends a CQ and it's sending K8R verified. So there's a, um, um, a key number that they. Uh, that the fox puts in, he gets it from the America. He gets it from the California. He gets it from the Northern California DX Association. I'm kind of just winging it here tonight, and uh, so you know if you're receiving a bootleg or a pirate station. So I haven't tried transmitting yet. Um, you can transmit anywhere in the uh, frequency area here, and I'm on 15 meters. They're running on 21.091. Egg. So I'm just going to say click over here about 600. I'm in the hound mode here and it says super hound. And let's enable transmit and see what happens. Okay, let's see if it goes into transmit here. Standby, something's wrong. Figured out what was wrong. I double clicked on his uh, CQ here and it put his call sign down here. <laughs> no call sign, no transmit. Okay, see what happens here. My beam's pointed about 230 degrees to the uh, southwest. I'm transmitting now. So they'll be seeing all the stations that they're receiving and they double click on them and put them into a queue and the software works uh, through the queue. So I didn't get them the first time. <laughs> uh, I got 96 watts going out. And see what happens, 13, 14, back into the receive cycle.
I got him. <laughs> Here it is, my call sign in red. He got me at minus 17. He's plus 15 here. <laughs> So there it is, the new WSJT-X Super Fox, Super Fox Hound Mode. It really helps when the D-Expeditions use this. They can get through a lot of stations in a hurry. And there I am, logged to contact. So if you hear this strange signal, you'll need uh, version 2.7.0, release candidate 5, in order to take and decode it. 73, Randy, good hunting.